TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability In the previous exercise you learned about some of the key sense blocks that allow you to manipulate lists by adding, deleting and inserting items. Having entered data into a list it's natural that you'll want to do something with that data and that often requires accessing the list items individually. Accessing items in a list is the focus of what we're about to do now. Open project 34 and save it with underscore SOL. This program script is very similar to the one we've used in exercise 33, but in this case, the user is not asked to enter a track title and track number. Instead, the script adds six track titles to the list. The script is associated with a sprite called CD, whose costume depicts a CD. To ensure the sprite appears on the stage, the script starts with a show block. Drag this item block from the variables palette into the scripting pane. When executed, the item block gives the item at a specified position in a list. The first input box is where you specify the position of the item that is to be accessed, and the second box is where you specify the list. You can enter a position directly into the first box, select from one of the drop down menu options or place a variable in the box. If you double click on the single item block to run it, nothing appears to happen. Try this now. In fact, Sense has evaluated this block, resulting in the item at position one, but you need to instruct Sense what to do with this result. You'll do this next. From the looks palette, drag a say for so many seconds block to a clear space in your scripting pane. Investigate what the block does by right clicking on it and selecting the help option. To have the sprite speak each CD title, you need to use an item block which evaluates to a string in the first input box of the say block like this. Add six of these blocks to the bottom of your script so that when the program is run, the sprite on the stage appears to speak the six CD track titles one by one using item of blocks to access the individual list items. Save your project and run the program. The say block takes a string in its first input box and a number in its second input box. This block is always associated with a sprite. When it is run, a speech bubble containing a message formed from the string appears to emanate from the sprite on the stage and is displayed for the specified number of seconds. The completed program for this exercise can be found in SPG Project 34 completed.